Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be taking a brief look at the Facebook stock and be giving my general outlook on how I think the Facebook stock will be doing for years to come. So the very first thing I wanted to do is take a very quick look at their revenue and earnings. They're doing extremely well for year to year growth for their revenue and earnings and that's extremely impressive for how big Facebook already is with it being a $550 million market cap company um, and a huge tech giant um, that it is, this is extremely impressive. And then if we take a look at the market cap growth in the past five years, we see about a 200% growth. And I seriously doubt that they will be able to continue that growth in the next five years. Even though Facebook was already huge in the last five years, they were, still had a lot of growing to do in the United States and Europe. And now I think a lot of that growth is really slowing down in new users. And then I just wanted to go over a couple of quick points from an analyst at Morningstar. The first one is with more users and usage time than any other social network, Facebook provides the largest audience and the most valuable data for social network online advertising. And what that basically means is that Facebook is absolutely the number one in social media and a lot of companies are tending to switch their advertising from more traditional means to um, social media. So with Facebook, Facebook being number one, that's going to be a huge source of revenue from years to come, and that's still growing. And then the next bullet is Facebook's ad revenue per share is growing, demonstrating the value the advertisers see in working with the firm. And I've actually seen that in myself. In the last year, I've probably made two or three purchases off of Facebook advertisements because I use Facebook just about every single day. And a few years ago, I've been using Facebook for six, seven, eight years now. And a few years ago, I definitely would have never seen myself buying something off of a Facebook ad. So they've definitely done a lot of growth in that. And it's obviously showing in their app revenue per user. And then I also wanted to take it a look at a couple of notes from a sell rating from an analyst at Morningstar and make a couple quick notes about those. And the first bullet just says, if online advertising no longer grows or more advertising dollars shift to others like Google or Snapchat, um, Facebook will not be successful. And basically, I don't think that's a really good point at all. I think online advertising is growing exponentially and Facebook, Snapchat, and Google are all going to see that growth. I suppose it's just a matter of my opinion, but I think Google is going to end up doing a lot better than Facebook for search engine um, advertising as well as with YouTube. They're doing extremely well with advertising. And then I don't know if you've been following Snapchat stock much, but they're not doing too well with advertising not uh, right now. And then they're actually not too profitable right now either with barely breaking even on revenues. And then the second point is just that Facebook is having to fight with other social media groups like Snapchat and Twitter and whatnot. And I really don't think that's a bullet for a sell rating. I mean, obviously, you're going to be dividing your time between other social medias. So Facebook is definitely going to have to stay competitive. But I don't think that's a very good sell um, rating from an analyst. Next up, I wanted to take a look at the global Facebook users and how much those users are spending. So for example, if we take a look at North America, they make up only 15% of the Facebook users, but they make up 52% of the spending share for Facebook or how much Facebook makes off of its users. And I really wanted to focus on Central and Eastern Europe, as well as Asia and Asia Pacific, as well as Africa. And here you can see that they make up only a tiny percentage of the users, but a whole lot of revenue. And Facebook is still rapidly expanding in these booming economies in Asia. So if Facebook can continually capitalize on these booming economies um, in India, for example, then they're going to continue to do extremely well for many years to come. And then if we come back over here to North America, we're actually seeing very little growth in the amount of users, but Facebook is still very successfully increasing um, individual user revenue. Next up, I wanted to cover a few of Facebook's acquisitions of absolutely huge companies. Um, and this is a huge strength of Facebook. When they can't do it themselves, they can acquire a company that can do it better. And the first big Facebook acquisition and probably by far the most successful is Instagram back in 2012 for $1 billion. And Facebook was really addressing a problem that they weren't even facing yet. And this is um, problems with the millennial generation. Younger generations saw a decrease in growth on Facebook and Facebook actually acquired Instagram as it was relatively in a 
in its infancy, and now it's quite the behemoth on social media, and it's doing extremely well on, within younger generations. And Instagram actually was not very profitable at the time when Facebook acquired it, kind of like how Snapchat is now. And if Facebook were to acquire Snapchat right now, I think it would be a huge addition and they would kind of dominate social media except for Twitter. But I don't think they're going to do that with what are they're already doing with stories on Instagram and Facebook. WhatsApp was acquired in 2014 by Facebook for $19 billion, and it's the biggest messaging platform in countries all across Europe, as well as one of the biggest messaging platforms in North America, followed by Facebook Messenger. Oculus was also acquired in 2014 for $2.3 billion. And if you're not familiar with Oculus, they make the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. And I couldn't find too much data on how profitable Facebook has been with Oculus, but I think it has huge growth potential for years to come. Oculus, I don't think, has had too many great games that are specific to Oculus. They've had a lot of ports over from consoles or PC games, but I think they really need a game that is just for Oculus that turns out to be extraordinarily well and makes a lot of people want to go out and buy one. And I think this is actually extremely likely to happen in the next few years. I think growth in the virtual virtual reality um, industry is going to continue to grow. And the last point I wanted to make about Facebook and what could possibly give Facebook the most upside potential is their talk on cryptocurrency or Libra that they're going to be launching possibly next year. Libra currently has 28 founding companies. Uh, a lot of them are huge companies like Visa, MasterCard, eBay, Spotify, Uber, Lyft. I mean, there's some really huge ones. And Facebook is looking to get 100 founding companies by the time it launches sometime next year. And just something to think about right now is the market cap of Bitcoin right now is $200 billion or about two-fifths the size of Facebook because Facebook has around a $500 billion market cap. So if Facebook is able to pull off Libra and make it almost as successful as Bitcoin has been, then they're going to see a dramatic growth in their stock price. So stock investors are going to be extremely happy if they can launch Libra and have it do have it be as even as close to successful as Bitcoin has been. I also just wanted you to know that I have zero dollars currently invested in Facebook and I don't see myself investing in Facebook anytime soon. I do think that they will continue to grow at a pretty steady rate for the next few years, but I think it still really remains to be seen how they will be able to continue to grow in countries throughout the world as growth in North America has definitely slowed in the last two or three years. If I was a Facebook investor, I would be extremely excited about Libra, and it does. if it does just a fraction as well as it could do, then it will make Facebook a ton of money and the stock price should soar in the next couple years after launch. I know that I said that Facebook is not the strongest investment right now for long-term growth, and I've actually done some analysis on some stocks that I think have much better potential for long-term growth, and I've done those videos on my channel if you want to come check it out. Uh, comment if you have any concerns or questions about the video, and I will be sure to get back to you, and check out my channel for more content.